of reaching out to the less fortunate. I want first of all to thank you for your generosity given to us after the devastating hurricane of 2017. The Food for the Poor has been an exceptional partner and the, 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 the tentacles in the country is, are very, very far-reaching. And without them, and without their generosity, we would not have made the progress which we've made thus far. So I want to thank all of you who contributed to that effort. But today, I want to focus more on Haiti rather than my country. Uh, Haiti needs all of the help it can receive. And your intention to build a village in Haiti is something all of us should contribute to. Uh, Haiti has had a very difficult history um, but a history, I believe, also, which the, the world owes a debt of gratitude. And therefore, our commitment and our contributions to Haiti will always be well spent. And building of homes, access to fresh water, access to education, things which all of us take for granted from time to time. These are basic necessities for the people of Haiti. And I recognize that the Food for the Poor Canada is seeking to raise one million dollars uh, to build a village in Haiti. Whatever it can be, as small as it may be, as large as it may be, every dollar counts. And I keep telling people one plus one is 11. <laughs> <laughs> so they can, they'll certainly make a huge difference for the people of Haiti. Uh, so I really want to call on us here to make our contributions and let us see how quickly we can raise this one million dollars so we can start the project in earnest in June of 2018, 2019, sorry. Those of you who have been to Haiti would, would, would recognize the tremendous challenge. And a lot of it has to do with its own history. And it's important for us to read the history of Haiti, how Haiti gained, gained its, its independence, and the impositions that were placed on Haiti at the time of its independence. Haiti, in fact, had to pay several millions of dollars for its own independence. Um, in today's currency, it would be no less than one billion dollars that they have not paid over time. Monies that could have been used to invest in the country and make a lasting impression on the lives of, of the citizens of Haiti. So the young people, the children, the women of Haiti certainly need the help that one that they can get. So I thank you for what you have given to Dominica. Though we need every single dollar that we can get, because of the, the cost of reconstructing our country after the hurricane. But I would like us to focus on Haiti and uh, to give all that we can to our brothers and sisters in the Republic of Haiti. So I want to thank you uh, for your generosity. I pray that the good of the country will bless you uh, with, with uh, the opportunities that you've had and which you continue to have, so that you have the ability to reach out to so many of us in the world who need basic things to survive very, very basic things to survive. Education, access to water, access to healthcare, access to basic housing, and also access to basic infrastructure. So God bless you, God bless your efforts. I want to thank, uh, again, Food for the Poor, uh, Food for the Poor USA, Food for the Poor Canada. You have been exceptional, exceptional partners. And I assure you, that Sister Henrietta Pond is spending every single dollar uh, <laughs> given to her, every single donation given to her, to the benefit of those who are really in need of it. And she has done a fantastic job as a Catholic sister, Catholic nun in Dominica. And we will continue to partner with Food to the Poor as we work together to build a prosperous and just society. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you.